Here we go. You ready for the day? I'm ready for the day. Let's, Let's do, do it. Before it gets too hot. Let's do it. Once we get done with this, we are going to put six mil plastic down just as a kind of as a moisture block. So hopefully once we get that sill plate set, we're gonna put some plastic down and then we're gonna install some joist framing. All right, so we have the underlayment in, have it lapped up over the side to our pressure treated sill plate. This here, we're gonna have to come back and add additional plastic when we and frame up the carport. Basically, we'll lap the plastic up and over. That's why we have so much excess here, is to run it up and over that wall to kind of enclose all of this, and then excess there, obviously, as well. But this is basically what we have. Hopefully, we'll keep all the moisture out, and then we wrap the columns and taped them and all the way around. I don't know what he's laying out over here. He's laying out the beams for the floor joists. So, on to the floor joists. All right, guys. What, what do you think, Nick? We got your swimming pool yeah, ready. Cool. Ready to Nick go? Just showed up. <laughs> Corey just showed up. Yeah, checking out our progress. That's yeah, it. Yeah, Corey it. said he wanted to start at 6 a.m. and uh, it is 10:11. Uh, Right. But look who got out here to start the day off early, and guess what? Less work I got to do. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready to do this? Do it. Okay, Before Bill, you ready? That's the man, man with the plan. Let's do it. All right. People know that it's not a natural swimming pool. I mean, you don't know that. So this is the, the kitchen, for the record. This is not an actual People swimming pool. People know it's not. We're gonna joking. Be, we're not going to put floor joists across in a swimming pool. <laughs> well, right now, it kind of does look like a little swimming pool. Although right now, with the sun beating down, we got... I wouldn't mind taking a hose and filling it up. <laughs> All right, so Aunt Lori asked why we have these little piers in the middle of the kitchen and why we have them on this side of the house, but not over on the master side of the house. So basically, both additions go out 16 feet, which is the same on both sides. Um, but this side of the house has the jog, let's call it like a six foot jog. Um, so this overall span is 22 feet as opposed to 16 feet. And we had two by tens at 12 inches on center on that side. And then here, because of the 22 foot span, we can't span that with two by tens. So we have, we're gonna have intermittent posts with beam supports. And then basically it's gonna be like 10 foot spans of two by 10 floor joists at 16 inches on center. So it's a little bit of a different layout because of the dimensions. So basically what you just said in layman's terms is that this is longer than the other one and the wood doesn't reach as far. Correct. So that's the reason we have the intermittent post. Support, support but, point but, that there is. Got it. Yeah. So Aunt Lori, it's it's longer. Yes. <laughs> but this actually might be easier than that side over there just because the members are as long and as close together and all that. And we're standing on the ground. And we're standing <laughs> on the ground, yes. Granted, this black underlayment, I feel like it just like absorbs all of the heat and it's hot as I'll get out down here. but. We'll see if we can make it through the 80, right, 89 degree heat. And more importantly, hold on, let's let's get down here and take a little look at this. See, this right here is called a redneck air condition. All right? That right there is gonna save our life today. <laughs> what, what's the <laughs> Fanny. Fanny? Oh, that's, that's Fanny. Fanny. We, we, that's we, Fanny. We, we love Fanny. her, we love her. Yeah, we just towed her around from the master <laughs> to, to over here. Yep, yeah. big old green machine. We're gonna have to put her up somewhere <laughs> in the house when it's all said and done. Off. 
63 and a quarter. That's right. That's a quarter. That one. Who? I mean, seriously, have you ever held a tape measure? All right, do you want to explain what you uh, have me doing? So what Nikki is doing is she's laying out, that one's good. She's laying out the floor joists. So what you do is you start down here at this end and out here from this end and our floor joists are 16 inches on center. So you measure from the outside 15 and a quarter, and then set ahead, and the X basically means that's where your floor joist needs to go. And then you square it up, square your lines up, and then she's gonna put one down on the face of this outside band, and that's how we know where to tie in our floor joist to. And then you basically do that all the way down your outside band, and on the other side as well, and you should be able to start framing. There you go. <laughs> We are setting beams here. Pass load framing nailer. Air press. <laughs> <laughs> Something screwed up. What's going on? Is your help behind the camera? Uh oh. Uh, should I pause for a second then? <laughs> All right, I got to get back to help before something gets screwed up. I'll get those last three if you want, unless you want to keep showing off. <laughs> and you get out of here and it all starts going together and it's just like, I don't know. It's pretty cool, it, isn't it? It just goes from individual pieces to like some sort of a floor system to like walls and... Especially like, putting the puzzle together. Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Yes. Hey, you found some, baby. You found some. So was it five inches off? 
Or oh, we did, oh, we did nuts. Oh, no, we did nuts. Did nuts. We wasted 10 minutes of our time. I thought it was we off. had everything at a level. It scared us. Whoops. Well, Cindy came over and started. That you was know. That's the problem, that's right, the there. problem right there. <laughs> well, she she came over empty-handed. She Come has on, her Cindy. Hand. Come on, Cindy. It, to be fair, it did look way higher over there. She had me convinced. Oh my gosh. You take a break. You burned it, Bill. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm nine thousand degrees. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see some more stuff. And uh, more of this good looking guy right here and his beautiful wife. That's right. Bro, oh, literally just sitting here and I just said record and it started recording. GoPro off. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>